Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to increase the cash on XBMC. Why would you want to do this, you ask? Well, here's the scenario. You start watching a movie or video, whatever, and it's going to start buffering. Eventually, it's going to reach its limit where it won't buffer anymore until you clear the cache. This may be a problem if you have slow internet. For example, myself, whenever it gets to the part where it stopped buffering, it stops my video. Okay, so if you increase the cache, it will buffer as much as the space on your computer allows. Okay, so basically this uses your hard drive to cache everything. So there you go. That is why you should increase your cache. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to go over to System, File Manager, and you're going to add a new source. This source is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Xfinity dot Xunity talk dot com you may already have this if you do just bear with me now we give it a name name it whatever you want there you go and click OK now you go back and go to settings Scroll down to add-ons, install from zip file, and find Xfinity or Xunity, whatever you named it, just look for it. Scroll down to repositories. And install the one that says Mickey one two three four right there wait for it to complete installing okay so now it says add-on enabled we are good to go next go back to the main menu and click on programs click on get more and find this one that I'm going to show you on screen in a couple minutes or seconds I mean once I find it right here X unity maintenance okay you have to install that one wait for it to download and then install. There you go, it is now enabled. So what you're going to do is open that program which we just installed. Click OK. Now you want to go to where it says tweaks and click on add zero cash that one right there it's gonna tell you have you backed up your original you don't need to do anything just click on yes I did not back up my original so it's really no big deal just click on yes and it's gonna tell you that it's done so you click OK that is all you need to do. You can now test it out, make sure that it works. And if it did work, I would appreciate a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.